Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you're new here, welcome, hi, my name is Holly Boone. So sick of that intro at this point, but anyway, um, so today I'm going to do a full beat glam tutorial on like what to wear if you're going out for dinner and to the club to stop like flashback or just to make your makeup last all night and look flawless, okay, I got you. Okay, so I'm going to start with my skin, so... A couple of things that I have been obsessed with that I use religiously that don't break me out that are just amazing and I've gone through two bottles of this. So this one is the Laura Mercier Foundation Radiance Primer. I've gone through two bottles of this now and I can just say that it's amazing, really hydrates my skin, makes my foundation look really, really good, sits nice on the skin and also um, doesn't break me out, which is important because a lot of primers seem to break me out. So I'm just going to apply this with a brush. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty face sculpt and shade brush and i'm just gonna apply this primer to my skin i like applying primers with brushes because although obviously my hands are clean um i still feel like it's more hygienic to apply primer with a brush okay so that is the radiance primer which yeah just adds some glow to my skin it just feels really really nice and like i said it just doesn't break me out which is the main thing Next product that I feel like I can't live about now is the YSL. This is the Touche Eclat. Okay, do not take the piss out of me for that. Okay, I can't say that. Touche Eclat, which looks like this. It has a little bit of gold in it. It is the best thing for minimizing your pores and also smoothing your skin. I just, I can't even. I love it. I'm going to use the exact same brush that I just used. I'm going to focus this more. In the center of my face where my pores are this is just everything it's worth the money i like low end and high end and a lot of things i feel like you can get low end that you don't need to spend the money on this is one product where i feel like there's nothing like it that's like cheaper if that makes sense this is like amazing this primer now i prep my skin so radiance primer and then blurring primer for the center of my face that's what i've been doing religiously um so foundation this foundation i have got through three bottles of this foundation since january i cannot stress enough how much i love this foundation i switched for a while to the makeup for hd stick but it just breaks me out every time i use it i get a breakout in places that i don't normally get breakouts so i know it's because of the foundation this foundation just sits amazing on my skin you know how sometimes when you use a foundation all the time it gets to a certain point where your skin's just like i don't like it anymore and it just looks really bad this foundation is not like that i have used like i said i've gone through three bottles of this foundation since january and i just got myself some more i just stocked up but um yeah this is the laura mercier flawless lumiere radiance perfecting foundation and it's just oh, everything like i said it doesn't break me out it just looks amazing on the skin like just everything. So I'm gonna use the shade 3W1, which is Dusk. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of 4N1 suntan, just to add a little bit of warmth. Just literally one pump, that's it. I'm just gonna dot this around my face. This foundation just looks so good on my skin and I feel like it's probably my ride or die at this point. I don't feel like I've ever found a foundation that I can use religiously and go through that many bottles and still like it. Like I normally, use a foundation my skin gets so used to it it just ends up looking not like it did when you first started using it um but this one oh, it's just amazing so i'm going to use the mac 170 brush to buff this in if you've not tried this foundation and you're looking at just investing into like um a high-end foundation this one is just everything um Another one, if you are on a budget, then another one that I love from the drugstore is the Maybelline 24 Hour Stay. That one is really, really good as well. One of my faves from the drugstore. This is like a buildable to full coverage as well. Like you can have it as like a medium coverage foundation and you can build it up. I like to build it up to full coverage, of course. I mean, <laughs> this is me we're talking about. So next I'm gonna apply the Becca. This is the under eye brightening corrector. Um, I find if I don't use this at the minute that my concealer doesn't fully cover my dark circle. So I like to colour correct first and then apply concealer. I just feel like it looks way more flawless and there's like literally no like dark circles poking through. So yeah, this is the Becca Brightening Corrector. It's one of the best, to be honest. Um, I'm going to use the other end of this Huda Beauty Face Sculpt and Shade Brush, the smaller end. I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. 
especially in the inner corner right here i feel like i get a lot of darkness there so i just really want to brighten it up i like the consistency of this product as well it's almost like a little bit sticky so when you put your concealer on top it kind of lays down really nice it sticks really good it doesn't look cakey or heavy or anything this is like a really unique formula okay so concealer i'm going to use the tarte shape tape in the shade medium and i'm kind of running out of this so if i am running out i've got like nothing left in it i'm gonna use my laura messier one because i like that one as well but sh tarte shape tape for a night out is the best because it kind of is the only one that like photographs really really well um and it gives you that full coverage so yeah tarte shape tape is where it's at does anybody know um where i can get it in the uk I got this when i was in america and I know like you can get it on QVC, but that's just like extortionate. Does so anybody know like where you can get it in the UK? Why you gotta be like that? You're probably thinking, why is she putting this much concealer on? But it's just because I'm trying to scrape it out of the tube. Okay, so I'm gonna use my beauty blender to bend this in under my eyes. I'm just gonna put some on my lids as well. Forgot about that. Get rid of this pink eye. <laughs> Looks like I've got fucking pink eye. Yeah, it's come on bright under eye. Goodbye, dark circles. See you later. Obviously, it's going to settle in fine lines. There's a difference between creasing and settling in fine lines. So, obviously, I have little lines under my eyes. The concealer is obviously going to settle in them. Um, but in regards to creasing, what you need to look out for, you'll know when a concealer is creased because it will crease here and it will crease like here in the outer corner. Like, that's when you know that concealer is creased. Do you know what I mean? But there's a difference between, obviously, creasing and settling in fine lines if you have fine lines under your eyes there's nothing you can do about it really it's gonna settle in your fine lines it's just that's just gonna happen so for cream contour i'm gonna use the huda beauty tantor contour and bronzer cream in the shade medium i did use the shade light last time but it just looked too gray and ashy on me so yeah i've been using this shade recently and it looks a bit better so i'm gonna dip my mac 170 brush in like this and then i'm just gonna apply it straight to the skin um i prefer doing this to kind of apply the product straight to the skin and then try to blend it out i think applying it to the brush and then applying it to the skin just evenly distributes the product it just looks way better so i'm just gonna contour my forehead obviously <laughs> look at the fucking size of it and i'm just pressing it on i don't want to rub too much because i don't want to disturb the foundation underneath so I'm just pressing it and then I'm gonna apply it just here underneath my cheekbone. Just gonna do the same on this side. So I'm just applying it just under up my cheekbone. I kind of like wipe off the excess product when it gets to this part here, just so that it doesn't make it really difficult to then blend because you don't want to apply too much in this area because you don't want it to go too high and you don't want it to go too low. You want to keep it where you've placed it if that makes sense and then again i just go with the beauty sponge and go over the whole thing at the end of the sponge where there's like nothing on the sponge there's no product on the end here it's just clean so i'm just going to go along the jawline just underneath here this just helps to sculpt your face a lot more i always do it along my jawline every single time and then you're going to just blend it down into the neck obviously because we don't want just a weird dark line. So obviously I haven't set anything yet because I just like to do all my creams first before I do anything else. So now I'm gonna set under my eyes. So I'm just gonna quickly go over it, make sure it's nice and smooth before I set it with powder. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder, which is what I always use. It never gives me flashback, it never lets me down. So I love it. So I'm gonna apply it underneath the eye up the sides of the nose i'm just gonna press it in this is amazing for smoothing your pores this is gonna keep your makeup snatched all night powder is the one you don't need to worry about your face looking too, too powdery either because we'll spray a spray in a second and it kind of just gets rid of any excess but if you press it on especially in this area here you can see the difference so here you can see more texture in my skin it looks fine but um, I like it more smoothed out on matte and as you can see when you apply powder it kind of fills in your pores really smooths out the skin um, so yeah if you want that like really seamless flawless 
skin that's going to last all night then you need to put you need to apply powder um and laura mercier trans loose translucent is where it's at but it's so good so i like to kind of apply a little bit more here down my smile lines because i always crease there which isn't a bad thing it means i'm laughing do you know what i mean it means i'm having a good time smiling laughing it's not a bad thing and i'm just gonna put a little bit on my lid as well and then we're going to just apply a powder as well in the center of the forehead here. I'm just going to use my uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the shade Chestnut for my nose contour. This is so off subject, by the way. But um, I recently had my contraceptive implant taken out of my arm because I'm single and I'm, do you know what I mean? I don't need it in my arm. So um, I just had it taken out and I can't even tell you how much better I feel. I know it sounds really weird, but. I had it in for so long because I had it for two years and then before that I had it again so I had it three years before that and then I had it changed and but I just feel like my mood swings have gone like I just feel so much better it's really it's really bizarre it's really weird um just from not being on anything like no contraception I just feel so good um I just thought I'd share that with you because yeah Random, I know, but I was just thinking about it. <laughs> so I like to use two different bronzers. I know. Is there any need? Is there really any need? No. First one I like to use is the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in the shade 4. This is from Laura Mercier. Like this. And I'm just going to use my BH Cosmetics number 2 brush. And I'm going to just press this on the skin. So I love this one because it adds a little bit of glow. It's really, really nice. It just... I kind of use it to set the cream contour. Yeah, it adds a little bit of life to the skin. It's really, really, really nice. This brush is really, really nice. BH Cosmetics is really affordable as well. You can get it on Beauty Bay. So the next bronzer that I like to use, this one is from Doll Beauty. You can see I've hit pan on it. I love this, I use it all the time. I don't like to, to apply too much because it is dark, um, but I like it because it kind of adds more to the effect of the contour, if that makes sense. So I kind of just press this on as well. Yeah, love, 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 love the formula of this bronzer. It's amazing. The shade is really good. So again, I'm going to take this uh, end of the sponge, which has no product on it. And I'm just going to go all over my face with this sponge. And it just really helps to blend everything in really nicely. So there's no like harsh lines or anything. I spent a good like five minutes doing this, which seems dramatic, but <laughs> really helps. I know it's such a difference. So I'm going to blend in my nose contour. I'm going to use the Morphe M173 brush. It's like a little dense fluffy brush. The nose contour that I use is so good. And it's really affordable. Such a good like um, cream to use. It blends really well. It doesn't dry down too fast either, which is good. Gives you time to kind of work with it and stuff. Next, I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to press over that. I'm going to just bake down the sides of my nose with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Like that. And then I'm going to start on my eyes. So this is my Ride or Die palette. This is the Jack and Hill Morphe palette, the first one that she came out with. This goes everywhere with me. It's just my Ride or Die. It has every single shade in it that I love. It's just, yeah, it's just ideal. I just love the formula of the shadows. It just... Literally goes everywhere with me, no matter what. So I'm going to use my Sigma Diffused E38 Crease Brush. And I'm going to go with this shade right here. And I'm just going to apply this just above my crease. I'm going to use all matte shades on my lid today. And I'm going to kind of keep the inner corner of my eye quite bright. And deepen the crease and stuff, but you'll see. I just love these shadows, they're so good. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So I'm just applying this just above my crease, like I said. So I'm going to take a clean, fluffy brush. Can I just say this brush has had its day? This is the Morphe M441. These brushes just do not wash very well. Like, I know they're affordable, but they just, every time I wash them, they just, the bris bristles end up looking like this. No matter how I dry them, they always look just trash compared to like this brush which is a sigma brush this brush do you see what i'm saying yes yeah. but anyway it's clean so i'm just gonna take a clean brush and i'm just gonna go over that just to soften it make sure it's all nice and blended 
So next I'm going to go with this shade right here, which is just above the black. And I'm going to use the Morphe M506 brush. And I'm going to pack this in the outer corner of the eye. Up into the crease, about halfway. I'm just going to deep up the outer corner and through the crease. Next I'm going to go Sigma Diffuse Crease Brush again with that first shade that I used. Buff over that edge. I'm going to actually like wing it out a little bit, so I'm going to pull it out just a little bit. Just to make the outer corner of my eye look a bit more lifted. And then again I'm just going back to that blending the first colour that I laid down, the transition colour. I literally just realised that you were so far away and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just realised the, the lens was all zoomed out. It's because I did my face first. I never do my face first really, so I just forgot. Sorry. Apologies. You can see what I'm doing now. So I'm just going backwards and forwards in between those two shades, so the darker one, and then just going in with this brush and just softly blending that. So I'm going to take that darker shade again on like this Morphe M506. I'm going to start applying this to the underneath of my eye. So next I want to keep this part obviously quite light. So I'm going to go with this shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. This colour right here. It's the third one, uh, third one in on the top row from the left. And I'm using this P. Louise brush. So yeah, I'm just pressing this on. Like that. I don't want this to be like a really super neat cut crease or anything like that. I want this to be quite a soft look. Um, I'm going to go back to this brush. I'm just going to buff over the edge. Like that. And then with this fluffy brush. Just going to go over it like that. And then taking the clean brush again. I'm just going to go and go over everything. Make sure it's all nice and soft. So that is that eye. I'm just going to do this eye off camera just to save some time. I'm just going to finish this eye off and then we'll come back and do lashes. Yes. Liner and lashes. So I'm next going to use the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner in black. It looks like this. It's the best drugstore eyeliner in my opinion. So good. And I'm going to use this angled brush from By Polly, the winged liner brush. And I'm just going to line my lash line with this. I don't think I want to smoke it out. I just want to keep it quite neat. But I just want to add some fullness to my line, lash line. So I'm just going to kind of press it on. Just add a little bit of fullness to the lash line. Apply this to my top waterline as well. I'm just going to apply some Bad Gal Ban mascara from Benefit. Still got one eyelash extension stuck in this eye and I can't get it out. And I'm not pulling it out. It's just gonna have to stay there until it falls out. <laughs> for lashes, I'm gonna use the lashes from my brand, and these are the everything lashes. So I love these because they start off shorter in the inner corner and they get really long and fluffy on the outer corner. So it's perfect for this type of look. It gives you that cat eye vibe without having to do winged liner. Because I mean, winged liner, I just feel like I don't have the patience for it these days. You know, I am just going to trim a little bit off the outer corner just because they are a little bit too um, wide for my eye. And then eyelash glue, I always use the House of Lashes eyelash glue because it's latex free. And anything, any eyelash glue with latex in it really irritates my eyes really badly. It gives me swollen eyes and I just, it's not good. Do you know what I mean? It's just not good. So this is the only one that I feel like doesn't do that to me. I'm going to leave my lashes to dry down for a bit before I stick them on. Like I always do because I can't just stick them on with the glue wet. No, it's not gonna happen. So brows, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, my favorite brow gel. I'm just gonna comb through them quickly, make sure the hairs are in place. I really need to trim my brows, but that's just not happening right now. I can't be bothered. And then the the brush that I used for the liner, I'm just gonna wipe it because I'm gonna use this for my brows as well. So I'm going to dip into the black eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette with this brush. I'm just going to tap off the excess and I'm going to comb this through my brows. I've started doing it with eyeshadow because I think it gives you more of a natural vibe. Also, um, the pencil just, yeah, it's just a little bit too harsh. I mean, I can make the pencil look 
more natural, but it's just more work when you can just comb a little bit of shadow for your brows, it's just quicker. Why give yourself more work when you don't need to? And then for the start of the brow, I just barely touch it. Like I underline it slightly just to give it the shape and then I lightly kind of brush upwards. The brows need a trim because they're just so fucking uneven. They're not even related at this point, okay? They're not cousins, they're not brothers, they're not sisters. They're definitely not twins. They are not even related. They haven't even seen each other, they haven't met each other. They've never seen each other in their life. That's how uneven they are today. It's not even, they're not even mutual friends. Not even mutual friends. Complete strangers. I don't know what the hell is going on with this eyebrow, but it just ain't. This just ain't it. That's as good as it's going to get with my eyebrows today. They're just not even at all. I'm going to stick my lashes on, kind of go outer corner, middle, and then for the inner corner, because I'm using black eyelash glue, I like to use tweezers, wherever they are. Use tweezers to place the inner corner. I'm just going to dust off my nose with this brush. This is the Blank Canvas F40 brush. I'm just going to lightly dust that off. Another thing that I like to do, again, another powder. You're going to be like, bitch, how much powder does one need? Well, I need a lot. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade two. And I use this for my under eyes because it is just everything. If you're taking photos, you need this, okay? It makes your under eye look so smooth, doesn't give you no flashback, it just looks amazing. So I'm gonna just press this underneath the eye and I'm using the Blank Canvas F40 brush. Oh, it's just photographs beautifully. I used to use the KKW brightening powder, but it's almost too bright for me. I don't like it too bright. This one's better. Um, and I can't be fucked to order it from America and wait for it to get here, to be honest. I'm gonna do a little bit of blush because I can't live without it. And I'm using this Chanel brush. I'm just I mean, the Chanel brush is just really not necessary. It's not necessary. You don't need it. It's just me going shopping and thinking I'm something I'm not fucking picking up Chanel brushes. Who do I think I am, please? You can get the same brush from fucking Superdrug. And I'm out here doing the most. Who do I think I am? Blush is on because blush is a must. I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line because obviously we're going out at girls and boys we're going out at so we go out at we're gonna put <laughs> we're gonna have to smoke out our lower lash line all right so i'm just gonna place in my waterline first depends how smoky do we want to go do we want to go smoky to the point where i ain't even got anything to say I don't know, I was going to make a joke, but I can't think of anything. Oh, Smokey, do you want to go? Why am I so annoying? How have I even got subscribers, please? I'm well annoying. I'm going to take this little brush, which is the Morphe M506. And I'm going to go over the belt. I feel like just a liner in the lash line is enough today. I don't feel like I want to smoky, smoky, smoke it out. Do you know what I mean? These eyelashes are everything, hence why I called them everything. Let me do mascara. So I'm going to do Bad Girl Bang. Bad Girl Bang. Because this makes your bottom lashes look unbelievable. The only thing about this mascara, I will say, is sometimes it gives me transfer. So like I end up with little bits of black under here after a few hours of wearing it. So I feel like the best mascara, I lost mine, but the best mascara is the L'Oreal Telescopic. It is the best mascara for your bottom lashes. It does the job just as well as this one. This one's more expensive. I got a little travel size one of these because it was cheaper. But um, L'Oreal Telescopic, honestly, it's the one. You don't need to buy this. I'm just using it because I've got it, you know. We don't need it. So when it comes to highlight at the minute, I don't really like too much highlight on my face anymore. I'm kind of over it a little bit at the minute. Um, probably change next week. I'll probably be like full fucking beaming, 
you know, I changed my mind at the wind. Um, but I've been using this Fasali Rose Gold Skin Mist. So you can see I've literally rinsed it. Um, this is a 24 karat gold infused hydrate plus prime plus set. This gives me a natural glow. So I kind of just prefer spraying this on my face to actually put a highlight on. Um, it gives you more of like a natural looking glow rather than like a shiny shit on your face, you know what I mean? So spray a bit of that. So lastly for lips, I'm going to do my favourite matte liquid lipstick, which is obviously from my brand in the shade Obsessed. This is my perfect nude, my favourite, my ride or die, last all night, you don't have to top it up. It's just unreal. If I do the same myself. And I don't really wear liner with it, I feel like I don't really need to. Sometimes I'll like add liner if I want like a different, I want like dark to light, but most of the time I just... I don't. So yeah, that is a shade Obsessed, my perfect nude. I'm obsessed with it. Obviously, that's why I call it Obsessed, because I wear it all the fucking time. <sighs> just goes everywhere with me. I just, do you know how long I've how long I've waited to get a perfect nude? And it took me so fucking long to get this right. And it is the perfect brown nude for me with a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of peach in it. My perfect nude. It took me so long to get it right. So now I wear it all the fucking time. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is the finished look. Let me know what you think down below. I just love a soft brown on the eyes and big lashes. Every time I go out, it's what I wear just because it goes with everything that I want to wear. It complements every eye colour as well. Like just soft browns and just neutral shades. Just, you can't go wrong. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you want to shop this lip colour and these lashes, I will link it down below my website. Please check it out. I appreciate that. Yes. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. Hey. Do you know what? Now I've done my makeup like this and my hair, I'm ready to go out and turn up and get drunk. I might go outside now. <laughs>